Hello my friends, welcome to the channel, to another quick video. In this video we're going to be talking about tooltips in Photoshop. If we go ahead and open up the Photoshop and when you go to this toolbar right here, you can see when you hover over an icon with the mouse pointer and leave it there for like a second, you're going to see a tooltip. They're pretty good, but if you have seen them multiple times, you know, you might be wanting to turn them off. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of them. And if you want to turn them back on, you can do that as well. So yeah, stay tuned for this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and let me know in the comment section below if you like these tooltips or if you prefer to turn them off. Okay, let's get started. So to get these tooltips turned off, all you have to do is just gotta go to the edit menu, then go to preferences and then go to tools. So right here in preferences, in options, you see that there is a couple options to show tooltips. And then the second option is use rich tooltips. And this animated tooltip is actually called rich tooltip. So if you turn it off and then click OK, now if you power over an icon with your mouse, it's not going to show those animated tooltips anymore, but it's still going to show you a little tooltip just with the text showing you the actual name of this tool plus the shortcut on the keyboard. I find this is very helpful because it gives you that shortcut and you want to remember as many shortcuts as possible. This way it's going to speed up your workflow. So yeah, I think uh, you should still leave it on. And if you want to go ahead and turn those rich tooltips back on, go again to preferences, tools, and then you can just highlight this option right here and yeah, just click OK again. Yeah, this is it, guys. I hope you find this helpful. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more interesting, helpful videos. And let me know in the comment section below what other videos you want me to make for Adobe Photoshop. I'll be really happy to read those comments and try to make those videos as soon as possible. So I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.